Hey you guys, Logan Kirk here, RockyMountainMysticMan.com. What I'd like to talk with you guys about today are these right here. My 1851 Colt Navies, made by Pieta out of Italy. I'll tell you what, love these things. Always carry them with me. These are the 44 caliber. Um, this one here has uh, been done up real nice by Taylor Arms. Real nice, beautiful artwork on it bring it in closer so you guys can kind of check it out um, we'll compare it side by side with just my uh, blank 1851 these guys are my go-to weapons these are my everyday carry believe it or not out here in the Rocky Mountains and uh, I load them up they're a six cylinder or they're a single cylinder six chambers I always load them up with five and Put percussion caps on them i got 18 grains in here i found that the 18 grain load is what works best gives me the most power the most accuracy and uh yeah i love firing it but in case you guys want to see let's uh shoot some rounds off here So this is the, uh, like I said, this is the Pieta from Taylor Arms. I love it. This is my baby. Oh, I love that smell. Let's uh, fire it side by side with the uh, Italian Pieta that's, uh, you know, just not as beautiful. Let's fire it up. Gosh, that 18 grain, man, I tell you. right there oh man I tell you guys black powder I just love it 44 is nice um, it's not historically 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 accurate you know they had the 36 cal but for what I do out here keep myself safe using it you know for self-defense and using it for protection against predators I want that 44 caliber round like I said, I put 18 grains in there, and they are mean. Absolutely a, uh, a beast stopper, for sure. Um, right now, why don't we go ahead, since we just fired off all the rounds, I'll take you inside, and we'll reload. So, follow me. Let's do this. All right, you guys. So, here I have the 1851 Pieta set out with everything that it's going to take to reload. So black powder, grain measure. I got my rounds, my wads, nipple wrench just in case, and uh, the weapon. So let's go ahead and reload these and I'll show you how that's done. All right, you guys. So to reload the 1851 Colt Navy, uh, first thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure you take that hammer back, set it back to half, to half cock. Um, also, if you're reloading, you'll wanna check like you'll notice here, I have a percussion cap that's still left over from when we were just firing the weapon. So we'll go ahead and remove that. That's one of the curses of these older percussion cap weapons. But like I said, put that uh, half cock on there. That cylinder is now going to move around freely and you're going to have access to all the chambers. So first thing we want to do, um, I know from my own testing with these weapons that 18 grain is uh, perfect for what I like to fire and for my groupings. So you can see I have it set here. All right, let's see if I can get it to focus. Got it set on 18 grain. Go ahead and fill this up. Right there, nice. So then you'll take your weapon. Now, what I like to do is I need to make sure that it's seated, cylinder seated, and right there, that's the one I'm filling. So I'll take this, dump those 18 grain in there, get it down in there nice. Take one of my homemade uh, Rocky Mountain Mystic Man wads stick it in there give it a round put it on top and as you can see i've got it seated so i've got the uh round seated on top of the one of my, the rocky mountain mystic man wad on top of my 18 grains i'm going to slide that in and i'm going to take this and i'm going to get that popped right down in there you can see that there pull it on out there we go 
real quick and easy you guys so what i'm going to do then you want to notice here that uh, i use the 454 so this leaves a nice the 454 round balls leave a nice little piece of lead just like that you know you seated it in just right so let's go ahead and do that again and uh i'll get these two weapons loaded up so again 15 grains 18 grains i mean the recommended load is eight is 15 but like I said, experiment with that. I found that 18 is just right. And it's going to also depend on the uh, black powder that you're using. Uh, this is my homemade black powder. So it's, uh, every batch is a little different. Always have to test with each batch, but you can see just how quickly you can load around just like so. Now you can get uh, spouts that are set at 15 grain and whatnot, but I uh, I just use this rifle one and fill it. Make sure you're not going on top of the one before. Get it in there, throw your wad down, get your round on there, spin it over, pop it in, and load. And we'll do that again. All right, hang tight here. I'll get these two weapons loaded and then we'll fire them off. All right, nice, easy, and quick. Always spin the cylinder, knock off those little lead rings. As you can see, nice grouping of them there. So now what I'm gonna do is uh, show you guys about the bore butter. So this stuff is really important. This is what's gonna keep your weapon from chain firing. This is stuff that I make myself. Basically, just gonna form it up like this. Make sure that weapon's still at half cock. And make sure you're actually putting it into the uh, cylinder that that is uh, to the bore that's actually loaded. And then just shove it in on in there, mash it down. This is going to prevent chain firing. It's also going to prevent dirt and other things from fouling your round. And uh, if you're out in the rain or the weather, it's also going to help with that. So I'll go ahead and just do this real quick now. Do this on both weapons and then we'll get to firing. All right, there's one, bore buttered up. I always spin it, it'll put off that extra wax along the barrel. Take my nipple wrench here or the handle, pop it off. This stuff is not gonna hurt your weapon. It's actually good for it. It's gonna help uh, keep it from rusting, all that good stuff. Like I said, I make my own bore butter. Um, this stuff here is made with mutton tallow, beeswax, and a little bit of paraffin. It's my own little recipe. And I tell you what, it's awesome, especially for a survivalist or someone who's using the wet, you know, is out in the wilderness a lot. If you really had to, I mean, I wouldn't want to. I'd try to kill something first, but you could eat this stuff. It's got a small amount of nutritional value. So let's say you're down in your mine, you get lost down in there or a cave in, you know, you might survive for a week off of this stuff alone. Mind you, that's, I, I haven't tested that. I've never, never had to eat it. But, you know, if it's, it's made with all safe to eat stuff, and I figure if it's safe to eat, it's safe to put in my weapon, right? So we just get this stuff mashed up here. All right, get it into the next one. And the last one there. And this is an important step, you guys. Um, you can see how I spin it off and all that stuff gets caught up in there. I take my key handle. I mean, you could use anything you want to poke it out of there. Just don't get it into that uh, open chamber because you don't want it fouling up the nipple and the one that's not being loaded and i'll gather up the remaining stuff and make sure that all the all the rounds are coated like i said prevents chain firing prevents the chain firing and uh bores the keeps the bore now i have all these extra extra little bits here that's usually what i'll do is i'll take it and rub it on my holster keep the keep the leather nice so i'm putting it on the leather here just kind of do that weatherproofing or if i have enough i throw it back in the bag and save it for a letter all right you guys so now we are uh reloaded 1851s all we gotta do now is put some percussion caps on these bad boys let's do it
All right, let's have a quick little word on percussion caps. Um, these are the number 11 percussion caps um, from CCI. They're pretty good and very reliable. I've never had any misfires. I also make my own. We'll do a video on that later, but for now, for the demonstration purposes, we'll use these. These um, are number 11s, like I said, but if you want them to not fall off the nipples on the weapon, you need to do this. Give them a little pinch and uh, just to deform it just that much, just about there. Uh, don't go too far on it. But again, weapon at half cock. So you can spin that cylinder around right here, that spot, that's where it's meant to go put it on. Take my finger and I just slide it right onto the nipple, just like that. Perfect. Now that's loaded. And make sure that you're not putting it on to the, um, not on the cylinder where the weapon isn't loaded. So again, pinch it, give it a nice little deformation, slide it right on. So I'm going to go ahead now and uh, do the rest of them. And then, yeah, fire these bad boys. All right, now I have them on all the, uh, loaded up around, all the rounds are loaded. This weapon is live. I'm gonna hold the hammer back, set it to the uh, one that is not, as you can see, no bore butter, nothing in there. That's where I wanna set my hammer down, okay? That also known as the cowboy load. And that's ready, into the holster it goes. That, this is my left-hander, in there. And then on the holster here, keep that, uh, hammer from coming up and loading in my pocket slide that over all right let's load the uh, Taylor Arms Pieta and uh, yeah we'll have some fun half cock and here we all right nice and quick again check it make sure we're on the right one you guys we're ready to have some fun Let's go fire these rounds off. Come join me. All right, so uh, we've got them loaded up. Let's take some uh, shots. I've got a target set up the hill there. Um, I gotta hold the camera while I'm doing this. Like I said, I'm kind of out here by myself right now. But let's uh, let's see how those loads work. Yeah, isn't that sweet? I just love the uh, black powder smoke. Let's see if I can hit my far target. It's about 50 yards away. I can't do it with these Pietas. Yeah. I think it just exploded. You hear that? I love that knock. Well, I got one round left, guys. Let's take her and send her down range. Eighteen fifty one Pieta, Italian made replica. Tell you what, I love these, you guys. I recommend that everybody carries these black powder weapons. You know, um, they're just it's the way to go. All right, you guys, enjoy yourselves. Thanks for checking us out. Remember to uh, like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff that we do these days in uh, modern technology. See you guys soon.